Welcome to Marketecture, where you can get smart fast with in-depth interviews of technology executives. I'm Ari Paparo. I'm joined today by Mark Zagorski, the CEO of Double Verify. Thanks for being here, Mark. Uh, thanks for having me, Ari. So Double Verify, a very well-known leader in the ad tech space, probably the majority of the listeners know what you do, but why not uh, tell us anyway? Tell us how you're positioning the company, what, what your key offerings are, uh, and how, who your customers are. Yeah, um, so Double Verify, or DV, as we lovingly call it. Um, it's like Duncan, you know, we only use one, <laughs> one word for it. Uh, uh, DV's been around for over a decade, and the company started off really helping advertisers navigate um, the numerous amounts of dark spaces uh, that were being in the internet that were being driven by huge ad networks who didn't tell you where your ad would show up, right? So the company started really helping people avoid uh, brand safety violations, so keeping them out of porn, basically, in, right. in the early days. Um, that business has evolved uh, to where we are today, where we still have the same thesis, which is kind of driving a stronger, safer, more secure digital ad ecosystem. Um, but we do that on multiple different vectors. So we help advertisers ensure that their ad spend is certainly brand safe, but that's evolved to brand suitability. So not just keeping me out of really bad stuff, but keeping me out of stuff that's not aligned with who I am as a brand. Um, we have a very large fraud practice, which helps advertisers avoid um, fraudulent impressions or environments which are fraudulent. Uh, we help those make sure those ads are geographically aligned to where they need to be. Um, and, and importantly, make sure that they're viewed by a real person and they're viewed at a level at which there can be some engagement. So those four key things, so viewability, fraud, brand safety and suitability and geographic alignment form the core of what we call the authentic ad, which is what we measure and filter for, for advertisers. Um, but we've taken that and spun it off into lots of new products like attention um, that continues to grow, like contextual targeting. Um, so our core data set is incredibly rich. Um, our core value prop to advertisers is to help them ensure that their ad spend is safe, secure, and most importantly, efficient. One of the challenges on the product side that's happened for uh, for the space, your company as well as competitors, is that it started relatively easy in a web browser, and then you have mobile phones and apps and CTV and audio, and each of those is its own kind of technical challenge. Um, so, how uh, tell us about your coverage? Like, if an advertiser uses your product, how confident can they be that they're getting apples to apples across every medium? Yeah, it's a great question. And it really, you know, what you laid out there is at the end is super important to us, which is advertisers want a single standard across everywhere they spend, right? And, you know, Nielsen, where you and I both spent a few cups of coffee, you know, <laughs> like to call that currency, right? And we like to think of verification currency as being the same thing. And the way you build currency is through consistency. And we've got two major challenges when we look at kind of what we do on verification. The first is the media type, right? Video is different from context. Pictures are different than video. Like all of these different types of content um, create a challenge. But then you got platform type, right? Walled garden versus open internet versus app. Um, both two different challenges. You know, one is a very heavy technical lift, which is, you know, how do you use machine learning combined with human beings to understand short form video on TikTok, right? That is, that is a, a, a computing challenge. The other is a really a business development challenge, which is how do you get access to data on Facebook? How do you get access to data on YouTube? Um, as it wouldn't surprise you, the business development challenge is sometimes way, way harder than the, the actual technical challenge. Exactly. And we've spent years on both. Um, but you know, when we look at coverage, it's the latter one. So that business challenge is the one that's really started to crack recently. So folks like Twitter and TikTok and Netflix who have walled garden, and, you know, they're walled gardens, right? You have to go in there. They have to let you in to see what's going on. They've started opening up to third-party verification. Um, and we've been, you know, fortunate enough to have relationships with a lot of the folks there previously that they've kind of brought us in. Um, in those areas. But it is a, you know, look, it is a computing challenge for the media type. It is a business challenge for the, the platform type. But as you noted, like our advertisers, 
they expect it. Like they, they're like, we, we don't care. Like we, we're, we're spending on TikTok. Like when right, they talked right. to us two years ago, they're like, you guys have to be on TikTok. And we're like, and if you're not, whoever's going to be there is going to be, have yeah. a huge advantage. 